all right what is going on guys welcome back to another youtube video and in this video i'm gonna explain what the bullet method really does and why it's such an important part of pi game so let's begin <laughs> Alright, so first let's just start off with the things that we do all the time. So import pi game that imports pi game and next we do pi game dot init and this initializes all the pi game modules that have been imported using the previous command import pi game. Now let's create our screen. So I'll call this screen and I'll set it equal to Pi game dot display dot set underscore mode and in here we pass a tuple we just pass in the length and width of a rectangle and this is just gonna be the size of our screen so I'll make ours let's say 500 and 500 and this is in pixels mind you all right, now let me load the image that we are gonna use. So I'll call this image ball and I'll set it equal to pygame.image.load. And in here, I will pass the location of this file on my computer. So I'll do that in a second and I'll be back. So here is where it's located on my computer. And now that we have that, let's move forward. All right, so let me explain what the blit method does now so the blit method just draws one image onto another so it draws a source onto the surface that you want it to draw so this is how you write the blit method so first you have the surface that you want the image to be drawn on so in this case for us it's screen so we do screen dot blit and now we pass in the image or or the thing that we're going to blit onto screen. So in our case, it's a ball. And next, we just pass in some coordinates. And this is the location that it will blit on. So I'll say 250 and 250. So the top left of our image will be on 250, 250 in our screen. And coordinates are always the top left. So if you want it to be in the exact center, you might have to move that around because the location isn't the center of the image, it's the top left of the image. All right, so now that we've done this, let me just delete this and now I'll create our main game loop so i'll create a variable i'll call this running i'll set it equal to true and now below that i'll do while running for event in pi game dot event dot get if event dot type equals equals pi game dot quit so if that is the case we just set running equal to false and over here, I'll just put in our blit. So I'll do screen dot blit ball and 250, 250. And now after screen dot blit, let's just do pi game dot display dot flip. And this just updates our entire screen after we run through this. So let's try running this. And you see, here is our ball. Now let's create a function that puts the ball wherever we want it. So now I'll call this place. So I'm calling a function and its name is place and it'll take the parameters X and Y. And now let me take this screen dot bullet right here. I'll take that, I'll copy that and I'll put it inside our place function and I'll replace the to, I'll replace the coordinates with X and Y. And now where screen.blit was over here in the main loop, I'll just do place, I don't know, 200 and 100. 
And if I run this, the ball's location has now moved. Obviously, I could have just not written the place function and I would have had the same result. But if you want to try taking in user input, just add a few little things to this code and it will do that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed learning about the blip method in Python. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.